G'day gamers, Gob here. Welcome back to Gob's Quickies. Now it's snapshot day and we're here with 21W15A for the, well, I don't know what to call it. I'll, I'll call it the 117 Caves and Cliffs update, but uh, it's not just snapshot day, it's also a big announcement day. But before we get into it, just check this seat out. How amazing is this area? I'm just absolutely um, gobsmacked with uh, how pretty this is. Okay, so let's talk about the big announcement. Today, Mo Yang released a statement saying that they have decided to split the Caves and Cliffs update into two parts. That's it. Not just one update, but two updates. And they've said that they're going to release one part of it in, they say, the summer. Now, us Aussies will call that the winter because, you know, we're down under and when the Northern Hemisphere has the summer, we have winter. You know what I mean. Anyway, so I'll say the first part's coming mid-year. How's that? That sounds better to me. And the second part is scheduled to release somewhere around, they say, the holiday season, which I'll call around Christmas time, the end of the year. So two parts. Whether or not we're going to call that 117 or 118 or 117A and 117B, I don't know. But it's two parts. Now, Lady Agnes, God bless her, uh, said that the reasons for the change is uh, they've got three main reasons. Firstly, uh, they don't want to rush it. And I think that's an excellent, excellent plan. You know, there is so much to this Caves and Cliffs update that uh, we want to make sure that it's a good thing. And Mo Yang, to their credit, have decided, you know, um, longer for uh, perfection is much better than rushed with errors. So they are going to do one part get it right, send it forth to be used, and then fix the rest, and then release it as well. So thank you very much, Mo Yang. They're not compromising on quality for time. Now, the second thing is because there is so much to this update, uh, it's going to be a lag machine. It's going to have... Uh, you know, the world height limit is going to go lower than zero and much higher than the 256. And uh, we're just going to have so many blocks and items and things like that, that uh, the game is potentially could struggle. So Mo Yang have decided that they're going to spend a bit of time trying to tweak the gameplay so that it is not going to be a lag machine. And uh, yay for Mo Yang for doing that. And last but not least, there is so much to be done. If they try to rush it, their staff will get burned out. So they're prioritising their team's health over um, the uh, release date for the game. And you know what? Good on them. Uh, put their people first, and uh, that way they'll be there uh, to deliver more wonderful content for all of us in the future. Okay, so what else was announced in the uh, announcement? Um, they're basically going to go back to a lot of the 116 type uh, arrangements. Okay, so the world height for the uh, 117 uh, will be going back to the 116 levels. We won't see the, de the depth below zero or the uh, expanded height. We're not going to see a lot of the cave generations that we're expecting for the 117 update. Uh, and uh, the ore distribution, which uh, they constantly said uh, draft only, subject to change, etc., etc., is going back to 116, <laughs> which I find a little bit funny. Um, tough is going to generate uh, from 0 to 16. We're still going to get copper. It's going to go everywhere up to uh, 192. So it's going to be all around the place. Can't wait to see the copper. Uh, and anything that was generated in uh, snapshots 21W05B or earlier can now be opened. And anything after 21W06A uh, onwards can't be opened under the new snapshots because let's face it they've got all the uh, new world generation effects uh, makes uh, s makes sense really um, they will release data packs that you can use if you want to uh, try experiments out uh, on the new uh, things but uh, at this stage uh, we've gone back to uh, uh, some of the more classic things so uh, my analysis of what um, is going to be left is this. So I reckon in the mid-year update we'll see the new ore textures. We'll see amethysts and amethyst geodes. We'll see the azaleas. 
copper, calcite, candles, yay. Glowberries, which I think is very nice as well. Um, deep slate, uh, drip leaf, dripstone, glow squid, which I know a lot of people don't like, but I think they're going to be pretty cool because they're going to give us glow ink sacks. We're going to see glow lichen, hanging roots, light blocks, uh, lightning rods, moss, padded snow, raw ores, rooted dirt, smooth basalt, spore blossoms, tinder glass, tough axolotls, bundles, spy glasses, and goats. That's actually quite a lot, isn't it? So we may not see all the new cave generations, but we're going to see quite a bit. What do we reckon we'll see at the end of the year? I think we'll see the skulk sensors. We'll see the, all the new cave generations, the new world uh, height limits, the new ore distributions, not the 116 one, subject to change. And we'll see the warden. Uh, which we're all like looking forward to, but we won't see the Warden in the mid-year release because they're going to be right down in the deep dark and we won't be getting that in the mid-year update. Um, and unfortunately, poor old archaeology, we ain't going to see that at all in either of those updates. And they're going to save archaeology for a later stage because it has quite a few changes to the game. Okay, so what's new in 21W15A snapshot? Let's go have a squiz. Okay, so the biggest change to this snapshot is just a bit more of the uh, application of our good friend, the Billy Goat Gruff. And what have they done to the goats uh, in this snapshot? Well, remember in the last one, we were asking... Uh, are they going to start ramming things? And the answer to that is yes. I've uh, introduced the ramming uh, side of things for the goat. Now the goats will ram anything that moves. So let's whack down a creeper here and see what happens. Come on, you see him. Come on, he's moving. He's moving. Go get him. Here, you go and get him. Go get him. Yeah, go get him. Go and get him. Creepers in this snapshot will be made so they will avoid goats and run their damnedest away from them. A bit like creepers and cats. Come on. Give him a whack. Okay. He's not going to do it. But goats will also charge armor stands. Are we going to see one? May not do it all the time. Well, go on. Charge that armor stand. You know you'll want to. Just go do it. Yeah, we'll give him a few armor stands to charge at. Just put down a few targets for the uh, the goats to charge and wait to see if they do it. Oh, there we go! We just charged away an armor stand and whacked it away. There you go. We, we see proof of the charging. Now, another thing the goats don't like is powdered snow. And I've just set myself up a little powdered snow track here to see if the goat will work its way out. You don't like it, do you, mate? You don't like it at all. Come on, get out. You know you want to. And see, he's avoiding the snow. He's working his way around it. And he's out. Oh, there you go, mate. You can do it. Now, another thing they've done is they've just tweaked the sound that bone meal makes when you use it. You just got this crinkly sound. A bit like some sort of creepy bony sound. Now, another change I've made is I've just changed the texture of our raw ore blobs. Um, so the, the, the sort of picture just looks a little bit different. I'll just chuck up on the screen uh, an example between uh, the previous uh, snapshots uh, version of the ore and uh, this snapshots. But what's more exciting about this ore blobs is what they've now allowed you to do. Okay, so you're down mining and you get yourself a, uh, a, a shed load of the, uh, the ores, and uh, it's filling up the inventory. Well, my friends, you can now stack it, and I'll show you how. Okay, so we've been mining. We have got a lot of ores. Just check out what I'm carrying. Okay, my inventory is getting a little bit silly. So I whack down my crafting table, go up to it, have a look what's in my recipe book block of raw iron, block of raw copper, block of raw gold. So you can stack all your raw ores and turn it into blocks. So suddenly my inventory is nowhere near as cluttered as it used to be. Isn't that pretty snazzy? There you go, go from having a pretty full inventory to these. Isn't that great? 
But you know what's even better? Look at the texture of these blocks. Look at that. Look at them. That's almost like glowstone, but uh, not. Or honey. And look at the copper. What a great coloration. You know, for, for the builders out there, it just gives you a whole new world of building blocks. Like, look, look at those ones. The, um, is that iron? That's the raw block of raw iron. It's like a, uh, almost like a cobbled walkway. You could use that to a great effect. And that could be used for, say, gardens or something like that. Looks a bit like muddy dirt with, uh, with some foliage or something in it. I just think that's brilliant. Now, what's even better is you can actually unpack them. So when you get back to your base, you come up to your crafting table, okay, and you can put your block of uh, raw ore there and pack it, unpack it, okay, so suddenly you're back to what you uh, originally had, so you can chuck them in a furnace. You can smelt these, um, as we discovered in the previous snapshot, but you can't smelt the block. Now, the only other changes have been um, in the creative inventory tabs. They've uh, changed some of the orders of the building blocks and ores and things like that. Uh, but that's not a big change and it certainly doesn't impact on gameplay per se. Uh, look, it's all very exciting. Lots of changes, uh, big news and uh, you know what, I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. Um, so that's it. The caves and cliffs or caves or cliffs or... 117A, 117B, whatever it is, but it's a snapshot 21W15A for the upcoming update to the game of Minecraft. Very exciting. If you liked the video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Go check out all my other content. Chuck me a sub if you haven't already done so. Naughty, naughty, naughty. And uh, we'll see you next time. Hooroo!